Well, it is finally here. Midjourney V7 has arrived. I know, I can barely believe I'm saying those words as well. So was it worth the wait? What's it bringing to the table? And is Midjourney the new flux killer? And does that even matter? Today, we're gonna take a deep dive into Midjourney V7, see how it's looking, see what it's missing, and what the future holds for Midjourney. Okay, let's go dash dash. So it has been a minute, Midjourney. You may or may not believe this, but Midjourney V6 was released on December 20th of 2023. So that marks one year, three months, and 14 days between numbered versions. Now, admittedly, that's not entirely fair as there have been a number of updates along the way, notably the jump to version 6.1 in July of 2024, which is now sort of the de facto model. So it's really more like eight months. But that is still a long time, and the space has not remained empty. Between generations, we've seen the rise of Ideogram 2.0 and 3.0, Black Forest Labs Flux, of course, Frames from Runway, Stable Diffusion 3.5, Recraft, Imagen 2 and Imagen 3, the recently released Reeve, and of course, OpenAI's new image model. All of which is to say the landscape has changed dramatically. And for sure, there is like a, an entire cottage industry of mid-journey haters out there. So there are certainly a lot of eyes on V7 to see if it'll deliver. But we'll also talk about how that might not matter. But in the meantime, let's go forward slash imagine. Kicking off, the new V7 model touts better quality, better textures, better prompt coherence, and understanding. Now, there is a prerequisite to using V7 in that you have to set up a personalization profile. It's really not that big a deal. You basically rate 200 images, just press the number one or number two key, depending on which image you think is more beautiful. Um, and you can use the number three key to skip. My biggest suggestion here is like, just don't overthink it, just be very very quick and decisive about which one you think looks nicer. That said, I mean, feel free to overthink it if you want. I mean, who am I to say? Once you have personalization up and running, you'll see this little P icon up here. Um, you can turn personalize on or off. Now for the bulk of this video, I'm actually gonna run it with personalize off, mostly because my personalization is not going to be your personalization. I do wanna see just how the model works on its own. Now our settings tab is mostly the same. We have our aspect ratio, aesthetics, uh, and then obviously our model over here, standard and raw. The difference here is that in the version, we do have a choice between standard standard and draft. Draft is pretty cool. We're going to go over that in just a little bit. Uh, and then obviously speed here to note at launch Midjourney is only utilizing relax and turbo. So although I do have fast turned on here, I believe that's generating in turbo. This should update in uh, hopefully a few days. Just something to be aware of if you are finding that you are burning hours extremely quickly while well, it's running on turbo. So kicking off our image tests, here is toast. Uh, yeah, that's the prompt, toast. I mean, you can't get easier than toast, well, unless you're French. We will, of course, move up the prompt ladder fairly soon. But in the meantime, I always like very simple prompts like this, just because it really kind of gives you an idea of where the model is. And just to give you an idea of how things look with a personalization code turned on, uh, here is toast with my personalization code, which apparently is not very good at cooking toast. Uh, yeah, apparently I burned the edges there and I, I, I make toast with lava. I definitely have to spend a little more time ranking images to fine tune it up a bit. Another very simple one word prompt test that I like to run is beauty. And of course, here we end up getting our world famous Midjourney ladies gazing at the camera. Listen, man, if Midjourney is gonna psychologically profile me with an image ranking test, I'm gonna do it right back. Overall, skin texture is looking markedly improved uh, from version 6.1, definitely much better than version six and version five, which had that really waxy skin look. Rounding out our one word prompt tests, we have surreal at an aspect ratio of 2-1, stylized 450. Overall, I do think that these look pretty great. They all nailed the assignment of being surreal. I will say, especially at the 2 1 aspect ratio here, Mid Journey is definitely locking into a very familiar compositional style. But again, I didn't really prompt for it. But yeah, everything is very much solidly in the rule of thirds. And we are getting our very, you know, typical Mid Journey character with back to camera. Again, I didn't prompt for anything otherwise, so I can't really get too mad at it. That said, surreal with my personalization on yields these results, which 
I mean, I think look pretty awesome, but then again, it is my personalization code. As a quick note, I did try cranking up the weird on Surreal, and apparently, at least currently, uh, weird is not compatible with version 7. There are a few other things, we'll go over those in a little bit. Moving up the prompt ladder, here is a cinematic image of a fantasy landscape. In the background, we see a castle. In the foreground, we see a wizard holding an orb. As a quick FYI, it has recently been announced that the Midjourney Orb project is no longer moving forward. But in good news, the Midjourney Egg project has been announced. Moving back over to our wizard image, yeah, prompt coherence wise, I think it pretty much nailed everything that we asked for. It was nice to see some like wizard variation, not just Gandalf. I mean, obviously we did get our Gandalf, but uh, you know, we also ended up with like, I don't know, Dumbledore here that looks like he's about to drop the hardest beat of 2025. And once again, with my personalization code on, we end up with these images, which I mean, that tracks darkly cinematic. I mean, that, that's my bag. Um, I will say there is a bit of an issue with the grip in this image, um, but you know, overall that's fine. We got three others that I think look pretty great. Now I should note that we could utilize the editor to fix this hand. Uh, that said, if you use the editor or the upscalers currently, uh, that does kick you back down to 6.1. Moving over to hard mode. I actually went over to Gemini and asked it to give me a challenging prompt adherence test for mid journey. And it came up with this, and I'm not gonna bore you by reading the prompt here, but uh, we actually got a lot of the stuff in here, uh, essentially a candle shaped like a miniature Roman Colosseum which we did indeed get. Bright blue mushrooms growing out, which we did indeed get. Now, admittedly, we did ask for three of them. We got a bonus one. I mean, you can argue that with the hummingbird, it did not place it floating precisely three inches above the candle flame, but uh, you know, maybe it didn't wanna burn the hummingbird like it did my toast. Now at launch, I would say the marquee feature of V7 is draft mode. This is a feature that allows you to speak to mid journey to generate images. Now to note, this does not work the way that like OpenAI's image model works. Can we just call that Dolly 4? Can we start like a change.org petition to just start calling it Dolly 4? Anyhow, so this is not working like an editor or anything like that. This is more about, you know, quickly iterating and generating ideas. To note, draft mode is pretty fast and pretty cheap. It actually runs at half the cost and renders images at 10 times the speed. Now, the cost of that speed is that it does generate lower quality images. That said, you know, the aesthetics and behavior are all there. We'll run a quick draft. To note, I am gonna cut out the generation time. It is pretty fast though. Can you give me a surreal landscape in 16.9? Can you put a knight in shining armor in the foreground? I need a closer up view of the knight in shining armor. Overall, I gotta say draft mode is a lot of fun and probably going to be you know, fairly powerful once we have V7 upscaling. Uh, that said, there are a few other things that are not shipping at launch. The biggest of which is OmniReference, which is of course the upgraded version of CREF, although it will also take anything from logos to objects as well. Additionally, Remix and Multiprompt are not available at launch. And obviously we saw the dash dash weird command does not work currently. Additional findings through my test. Yeah, the prompt adherence is really good. Uh, this is a prompt adherence challenge by ChatGPT this time around. ChatGPT wanted to call out for a person sitting cross-legged on a Persian rug wearing a medieval suit of armor on a space station. Overall, I gotta say that V7 kind of nailed it. I can nitpick a little bit and say that the suit of armor isn't so medieval and looks maybe a little more on the Warhammer 40K side, but uh, that said, you know, it does suit, say, suit the uh, aesthetic of the, you know, overall image. I do have to note that we are definitely getting some old school garbled faces, uh, particularly in larger crowd scenes. Man, she is angry about having a garbled face. That said, I'm not getting too judgy about this considering, you know, we're just launching right now. And I think that a lot of these problems will be solved when the upscaler comes around. Overall, a pretty impressive start for V7. Is it the greatest image generator ever? Well, I mean, honestly, that's for you to decide. One thing no one can argue against is that Midjourney does have a pretty heavy hand in the aesthetics department. Control, not so much, but style, it's got. Whether you jive with that style, well, that's up to you.
Is it perfect? As always, no. But I will say that that tends to be the case with Mid Journey. Like the numbered versions aren't the ones. It's usually the point ones and point twos that tend to be the ones that are honed in. Now it has been noted that they will be releasing weekly updates, at least for the next four weeks, integrating new features in. Hopefully, Omni Reference is one of the first. It is interesting to note that between Mid Journey and Runway's release of Gen 4, that we have seen you know two major platforms in the space release generational updates that are, were kind of not fully baked. Personally, I am okay with it. I mean, it's just life in AI is perpetual beta. Meanwhile, on the video side, no date on that yet. I did find it interesting that Midjourney did announce that there would be three modes for generating video. We'll have text to video, of course, image to video, and a very mode. I suspect the very mode will kind of do that Sora thing in that it will take your initial input image and then, you know, kind of go in a direction that it wants to. I got to admit, I have been getting some pretty good outputs that way. Now, what I'm really curious about is if on the text to video side that we will be able to utilize personalization and style codes, because that may make this the best looking text to video model we've seen yet. Ultimately, is Midjourney V7 the, you know, image model to rule them all? I mean, probably not. There are just far too many other image generators around for any one of them to be the best. Additionally, Midjourney CEO David Holtz has been stating that he's not really interested in playing that game. He's been viewing Midjourney more and more as a research lab. Now, granted, a research lab that does not publish papers, but a research lab nonetheless. And what will be coming out of this lab, you know, besides the Midjourney egg, that is a joke, by the way. There is no Midjourney egg. At least I don't think that there is. Well, there have been a number of teased secret projects. So, I mean, we'll see. As always, I will definitely let you know as we learn about them, and I will be covering the you know, weekly Midjourney updates as they occur. In the meantime, you know, this was a lot of fun. I always like doing mid-journey videos. It is a lot like coming home. I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.